G'day, I'm Mark from Taz Off Road Adventures. In this video, I'm reviewing the SCA 185 watt 220 millimeter LED driving lights from Super Cheap Auto. That's what they look like. Now, this is the box that they come in. I just said that they're 185 watt, which is what it says on the website. It also says on the box it's got 37 5 watt LEDs, which is 185 watts. It also says on there that they draw 10 amps at 12 volts. Now if you cal calculate that out, if you get uh, power wattage, you multiply amps by voltage. So 10 multiplied by 12 gives you 120, which would indicate these are actually 120 watt, not 185 watt. Now I've actually already installed one of these. I put one in yesterday uh, and I've left the other one off just so I can start the review. Uh, I actually measured the current draw on the one I've got and it draws 128 watts so it's around that 120 watt figure. It's certainly not 185 watt which seems a bit odd. Um, as I said, it says it's got 37 5 watt LEDs. Uh, I'm not sure what the explanation is for that but I can tell you mine draws 128 watts. Now as I said the lights are 220 millimeters, which is just under uh, 9 inches in the old uh, measurement. Uh, they're a spot and spread combination, so on each side, you're not going to be able to see it there, but on each side there are five spread uh, LEDs and the rest are the spot spread, so, well sorry, not spot spread, they're spot, the uh, five on each side are spread and the rest are spot. Uh, now this comes with this really, really sturdy bracket. It's made out of three millimetre steel. Um, and it's got this sort of odd sort of a pattern on it, but it is really really strong uh, that coupled with it, it takes three 10 millimeter mounting bolts to mount this to your uh, Bull bar or whatever you might be mounting it to so The strength of this plus the fact that it's got ten, three 10 millimeter bolts. This light's not going anywhere at all It's it's super strong now the way this attaches the bracket attaches to the light there's another 10 millimeter bolt which is huge again and then there's a second six millimeter bolt so you can sort of pivot the light in the bracket it also comes with this rubber pad which will go under the bracket so you put that between the bracket and the bull bar just to take a bit of the it's probably a bit like a shock absorber if you like just to take a bit of vibration out of the lights now one odd thing with this as well is that it doesn't it didn't come with any instructions um, which is probably not that big a deal. I, I did a review on some Ridge Rider light bars uh, a while ago too, and they didn't come with instructions either. Now, it is pretty straightforward. You've got a red wire and a black wire. I think everyone knows how to hook them up, and if you don't, go and see an auto electrician. Uh, but it's just, I, I find it a bit odd that you pay, these are 185 bucks, these lights, by the way. You can get them on special a fair bit cheaper than that. For 185 bucks, and they come packaged really well. There's a heap of uh, polystyrene in there. They're all wrapped in plastic, uh, and then there's no instructions, which I just find a bit odd. It comes with these plastic lens covers. Now, this is where the instructions would have been good, uh, because I'm not sure if you're meant to put those on the light and, and leave them on to protect them, or you take them off. I would assume that it's optional to, to have them on. I'm not going to put them on. You see, they've just got like a glad wrap covering. I'm not going to bother putting them on. Uh, I'm just going to run the lights as is, like so. Now, I showed you before, I said it's got the red and black wires. It's got this waterproof <laughs> two-pin plug. Now, that is really, really annoying. Uh, that's the waterproof plug that, pl that plugs into the back of the light, which is great. I like that. Uh, but look how short it is. It's just annoying. And I'll show you why. This, this light here is the lights I'm taking off the Hilux. I'm going to fit these lights onto the Hilux. This is the one I'm taking off and you'll see they're only a six inch light. They're not, they're very poor lights by the way. That's why I'm replacing them. But it comes with 450 millimeters of cable, which is really good. And the reason that's good is because, well actually, I can mount that to the bull bar and then I can slip this in through the grill and join onto the wiring loom behind the grill. Uh, I've just got to put some connectors on there and join it up. Very handy. With this one, it's not long enough to go under the grill. So, as I said, I've already mounted one of these. I mounted one yesterday. And what I end up doing uh, is I soldered on 
onto both the black and red cables, another 300 millimeter length. Uh, then I double shrink wrapped it and wrapped it up in electrical tape as well. And that allows me to extend this cable in behind the grill where I can connect into the wiring loom. So the connector's good, like it's waterproof and that's really cool, but gee, maybe give me 450 mil cable. I would have been happy with 300 mil to be honest with you, but 150 mil is just it's a little bit annoying. I've talked about the lights uh, or the plug being waterproof. Uh, it says on the box here it's rated to IP67, which basically means they're dust and water resistant. Another thing I said about it doesn't come with instructions, which I found a little bit odd. The other thing is it doesn't say anything about the warranty on this. There's no instruction book to say, hey, it's 12 months warranty. I'm assuming it's 12 months warranty. I, I don't know. Uh, on the, even on the website, it doesn't say how long the warranty is. But in my experience with uh, the Ridge Rider lights and other stuff I've used from Super Cheap, it's normally a 12 month warranty. As I said, there's nothing on the box to tell me that. So I'm just going to make that assumption. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and mount this light on the Hilux. As I said, I've already got one on there. I'll mount this one on there as well. I need to solder my wires on my plug to extend that. Oh, wiring loom. Uh, it doesn't come with a wiring loom, these lights. That doesn't bother me at all because I'm replacing a set of lights. Uh, I've already got a wiring loom in there. I've checked the fuse size. I've got a 30 amp fuse. These draw around about 10 amps-ish. Uh, so between the two of them, they 20 amps, 30 amp fuse. So that's not a problem. They do make, Subito SCA make uh, a wiring loom, which I assume fits these lights. It's, they've got a wiring loom that says it's for the LED lights. Uh, it's about 65 bucks. Um, so if you do, if you are fitting these to a vehicle that hasn't had lights on before, you will need to either make your own loom or buy that wiring loom um, as well. So that's 65 bucks on top of the $185 that these are. Are they $185? <laughs> I think they are. It might be 189. There's something like that. They're around about 180 odd bucks anyway. Obviously cheaper when they're on special. Well, here we are. It's about four weeks since I fitted these lights and filmed the intro to this video. I could not be happier with these lights. These lights are absolutely awesome. Uh, exceeded, well exceeded my expectations. Uh, I thought that the spread beam would be great, but what has really surprised me is that the long distance beam as well. Uh, a good couple of hundred meters in front of you, you can see clear as day. Uh, you can get up to, or you can see upwards about 500 metres. Uh, I had to, um, a few nights ago, I, I went on a long stretch around here and I took some photos. They didn't come out as well as I would have liked, so I'm not sure if I'll put them on the video or not. I'll have a better look uh, when I get them on the laptop. But you can see up to 500 metres, but 200 metres at least is, yeah, like I said, clear as day. So, yeah, the long, uh, the, the uh, um, spot beam, as I'm trying to say, the spot beam is a lot better than what I thought it would be and the spread is amazing so uh, now in the previous video I got a little bit confused which is easily done about how much these cost uh, they're $185 but a few weeks ago uh, when it was Easter these are actually on special for 110 bucks which is absolutely amazing they don't come with a wiring loom it was about 40 bucks extra for the wiring loom on special I think it's normally about 65 get on the website have a look but I could not be happier uh, these are well exceeded my expectations they're a lot better than the old driving lights that I had but that's probably not saying a whole lot but yeah for the price you just can't go wrong with them the fact that they're from super cheap so if something goes wrong you take it back uh, I'll probably come back in about 12 or 18 months and give another review on this and just see how they're holding up um, yeah I didn't put the plastic lens covers on as I said in the previous video um, don't think I really need them I'm not sure what purpose they serve uh, but as I said, as is, I can't be happier and I totally uh, recommend these lights. So thanks very much for watching and one last thing is I only just uh, a little while ago I watched the first video, the intro to this one and it's very very grainy. Uh, the day I filmed that it was actually raining so I was in the shed, I had all the doors, I've had the lights on but clearly it wasn't enough light. I thought about refilming it but I decided not to because what I was filming was 
the, the content was good, you know, showing you how short the leads were and that sort of thing on this. So I'm going to leave it on there, so apologies for that. Uh, once again, thanks very much for watching this video review. Uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like it, and look out for the next 4x4 and camping gear review.